Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're discussing five ways you can reduce your pack's weight for free. Tip number one is sharing is caring. And I'm not talking about sharing your favorite snack with your best mate when you're out on the trail, but I am talking about sharing the weight. Um, when you go out as a team or a two, there's an option there to share some kit and reduce some weight in your pack. Uh, one of the big items here could be stoves and fuel, um, easily split between a, a group, a large group of people. And the other one could be a tent. If you decide to go out with your mate, sharing that one tent will reduce the weight. I mean, you don't have to both carry one, and one of you can have the inner, one of you can have the outer, or vice versa. And that way, you're just going to shed that weight and also spread that weight across two people. So you're going to save a little bit of weight there, but also have all the luxuries you want. Tip two. Tip two is carry less water. And I'm not talking about shedding all of your water and not carrying enough for the day. What, the first thing you want to do is carry enough to hydrate you throughout the day. But what you don't want to do is carry so much that it's weighing your pack down. Water takes up a lot of weight in your pack and it's something you're going to be carrying throughout the day. So it's worth shedding a bit if you can. Um, to counteract that, what we'd recommend is filling up en route. So you could either take enough to get you through half the day, make sure there's a river when you're planning a route halfway, fill up, purify it and drink that. Or if you just want to carry enough that when you get to your campsite at night, you have enough to, um, to boil up and cook, you can make sure that there's a river just before your campsite where you can fill up. You can either purify this, or if you're just simply gonna use it for cooking, you can obviously boil it when you get there. Um, ways to purify, you could look at an inline filter, which is probably the most expensive way. You've then got chlorine dioxide tablets, which are purification tablets that don't have the horrible taste. And then right at the bottom, you've got chlorine tablets, which do have, this, do have that sort of chemically taste, but they're a lot, lot cheaper. All right, so tip number two is carry less water. So tip number three is only pack the essentials. I know when you're packing, everything seems essential. You want to make the best time you can when you're out on the trail. So you're packing all the little things you know that will make your life a little bit easier. But when you get home, it's really worth writing down a list of all the things you didn't use on your latest trip. And then what you do is after each trip, you come back, you look at that list from the previous one, you compare it to this list and see if there are things that keep cropping up. If something crops up three, maybe four times, you know you're not using it and it's not an essential item. So maybe you can shed that next time and save a bit of weight. Tip number four is reduce, reuse, and let's multitask. And this is all about making items do two things for you. Uh, a really good example of this would be something like your cook pot. Um, rather than carrying a mug or a bowl, ditch those two and either eat straight out of your cook pot, the item you're using to cook your meal, or if you're using boiling the bags or dry meals, you could always use the bag itself, get yourself a nice long handled spoon, a really good product, and that way you can eat straight out of the bag. You don't have to carry a heavy cook set, um, just a pot to boil your water and then the actual food itself. Another one would be a pillow. Um, a pillow is obviously a bit of a luxury, but what you could do is use your down jacket, stuff it either in the hood of your sleeping bag, or you could um, stuff it into a dry bag and you could use that as a pillow instead. And that way you're not having to carry a separate item. Making items multitask can be as wild as your imagination can get. Um, so it's a really good way of shedding some weight and making items do more than one thing. Our final tip and tip number five is gonna be check the weather. Checking the weather is a really good way to reduce your pack's weight because it allows you to make decisions on kit you may or may not need. A really good example of this would be a down jacket. If you've checked the weather, it's gonna be an absolute scorcher. Even in the evenings, it's gonna be sort of 18 degrees, um, which is something we've just had in the UK. Then you potentially can leave your down jacket at home or maybe take your thick fleece and swap it out for a slightly lighter one. And the same can be said for your down jacket. Reading the weather gives us the opportunity to shed our weight and also take lighter gear as well. Um, although in the UK, the weather can be a bit inclement, if you check the weather and it's looking pretty good, there's no chance of rain and you're looking at 28 degrees, then I think you're pretty safe ditching your down jacket and taking a slightly lighter weight fleece. Well, there you have it. That was five ways to reduce the weight of your pack completely for free. Uh, in the coming weeks, we're going to be doing another video where we talk about ways to reduce your pack if you've got a bit of a budget and you're willing to spend a little bit of money to get that pack size and that, si uh, and that weight down. Um, so if you'd like to catch that video, don't forget to hit subscribe and also hit like on this video. It really helps us out and helps us create this content. Until then, we'll see you next time. Bye.